going to show you how to create your own distressed fonts and images. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type up some text and I'm just going to do dad and I'm going to change this to a nice big font so I'm going to use impact. It's a nice thick font that I can use and I'm going to make this bigger. All right, and then I'm also going to show you how to do it on a shape. So I'm going to create a square. Let's make it rectangular. So I'm going to unlock it. All right, and let's change this to black. Okay, so now that I have my images, I'm going to go to Google, and I've already looked up a distressed pattern. So I'm just going to find one that I like. Um, I like this one, so I'm going to right click and do save image as and I am just going to name it distressed and I'm going to put it on my desktop just put it somewhere where you'll find it go back to design space and click on upload um, and then go to upload image browse and find what you just saved um, right here and click open Okay, so do it as complex, or let's do it moderately complex. You know what, let's just do it simple. And press continue, and then use your tool to um, get rid of all the white space. You're not gonna capture everything. You can zoom in, and this just depends on how intricate you want it to be. I'm probably only, I'm just going to click the ones that are really obvious because I don't want to spend too much time doing this. So just kind of click around and then hit continue. So I'm going to do a save as a cut image. So you'll see this is how the distressed font or the distressed pattern looks when it's cut. So I'm going to press save. Okay, once that's saved, <clears throat> I'm going to click on it and I'm going to insert this image. Okay, so here it is on here. So let's go ahead and we're going to make this bigger. Okay, so now that I have two pieces, you can only do this. I'm going to slice it out of the dad. So I'm going to select both. You can only slice when it's two images. So if you have um, text that you've ungrouped, make sure you group them or weld them all together. I'm going to do slice. And then that is one of the layers of the distressed font. But this is the one that I'll probably use. So I can get rid of this. Get rid of this back one. And so you can choose how much distressing you want. This one you can't really see what it is. And the same with this one. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I like this. Okay, so then I would cut this as normal. Um, so let's go back and distress this square. So I'm going to insert the pattern again. And if there's certain portions that you like, like I don't like how, how distressed this side is, so I'm going to center it, and you can even make this a different color so you can see it. I want it lightly distressed, so I'm just going to do it like this. Select both layers, slice, and then we can get rid of this. And then we can choose. There's either that, that, or this is what's left. That easy.